Hello, my ginger nuts. Welcome to Foxy's Famous Friends. And today, joining me for a chat is the one and only Cherie Euston. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Foxy. It's so nice to be here. I've never sat with a fox before. Mm. I'm so excited. You're in for a treat. Now then, Cherie, you've been on Loose Women for many years now. Is there a man alive that doesn't get nervous around the feisty ladies? Well, Foxy, don't tell anybody, but when men come on the show, they cover all their private parts up with their hands. Because they think they're going to be, you know, mauled and molested. (laughs) They've been stroked a lot and kissed a lot and flirted with. But um, they know afterwards that they quite like it. And then they want to come back on. Can you believe that? You'd be good. Name the day and I'll be there. Cheryl Cole's rumoured to have abandoned the US. Do you think there's a place for her on the Loose Women panel? See, Cheryl Cole is very beautiful. She is. She's very thin, beautiful hair, beautiful body. We think it's all her own. <laughs> and we'd all hate her, you see. This is the problem. You can't have beautiful on loose women because we're all of a certain age and she's just that bit too beautiful. We'd have to smack her one. <laughs> <laughs> but in no fighting, ladies. Now, you once had a date with Steve McQueen that ended in disaster. What top dating tips would you provide to ladies out there who didn't want their date to stop and run? The big tip is never be sick over a man because that's not attractive, is it? Mm. I mean, what do you do then? Because I thought I was going to marry Steve McQueen, but off he went. Mind you, he took me with him. (laughs) (laughs) And don't be too enthusiastic. See, my problem is I'm too enthusiastic. So that's it. Don't be sick on them and play hard to get. Top tip, Sherry. You've been open and honest with the nation about the hard times you've faced. Do you have any tips for those who strive and strive to pick up the pennies? I just think be careful. And you know what? When you have good friends and good family, you can have a laugh. That, that's, what, that's what helped me and that's what kept me, well, put me back on the road I'm on now. And I've, I've got them and the love of a friend. Mm. And you know what, Foxy? The love of a nice fox. That'd do me. Mm. You like to put pen to paper? Will you be writing any more books? Will it be a novel to tickle me? Well, I would now, because I used to write children's stories. So that's where I'm going now. But you know what I've just thought? I'm going to write a book about a sexy fox. Wow. And I'm going to be his girlfriend. Right. How about that, Foxy? <laughs> Cherie, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thanks for coming to see us here on foxybingo.com. Ta-da, kid. Cheerio, Foxy. <laughs>